Welcome back, students. So in this video, we'll be doing exercise 2.3, section B, the first question, okay? So this is the question which is given to us. We have to divide the polynomial P of X by the polynomial G of X and find clear. So you understand what P of X is and G of X. P X is a quadratic equation because uh, it's a cubic polynomial because the degree of this given polynomial is 3, okay? Now, before you understand this, there's a very, we're going to use a concept called the division algorithm, okay? The division algorithm for polynomials. So, this is what we're going to be using, okay? So, what we do is, suppose, uh, if you're given a quadratic equation like this, just an example. If you're given a quadratic equation of this form, you can definitely find out the zeros, right? Remember exercise 2.2? You can find out the zeros by using this a method called splitting the middle terms, yes? But in case you get a cubic equation like that, you cannot use splitting the middle terms, okay? So it becomes quite difficult for you to find out the zeros, as a result of which we have to make use of division algorithm, okay? Because splitting the middle terms can only be used for a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation means it's a polynomial with the degree 2. The highest degree of the given polynomial is going to be 2. This is true, so we cannot use splitting the middle terms, okay? Clear? So because of that, we'll be using the division algorithm. So I think you're already familiar with the division algorithm. It's also called, so it's usually like this. The dividend is going to be equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay, quotient plus remainder. This is actually the division algorithm. Okay, it tells us that by division algorithm, this is dividend, which is going to be equal to the divisor into quotient plus remainder. All right. So we'll be making use of it. Usually when you divide this, suppose this is 2 and this is suppose 5 and you get this as 2 and 4. Okay, I'm just giving an example. This is usually the dividend, okay? Uh, this is, uh, sorry, this is the division, the dividend. This is the divisor. This is, okay, I'll just write it here. This is the dividend, okay? Clear. Then this is the divisor. This is quotient. And this is remainder okay so what is this telling us okay what is this formula telling us dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder what is it telling us what is the division here five what is the divisor here two what is the div uh, divisor here two what is the quotient two and plus so you tell me is this not the same form two plus two two into two is four four plus one is five okay so this division algorithm tells us that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder and this is one of the examples why okay clear all right okay not necessary that always okay either ways let's not really get into this okay i'll be making um an introductory video based on this again all right but i hope you get the idea of where we get the division algorithm okay now we'll go with this question so the question is we're asked to find out um, the quotient and the reminder we have to divide so since it's already given divide we'll have to use a division algorithm so by division we're asked to divide the given polynomial with the the polynomial of gx so what is gx here x square minus 2 you get this as x cube minus 3 x square plus 5x minus 3 this is something you've already done in class 9 okay so what should you multiply x square with to get x cube remember it's plus x cube so what should you multiply x square in order to get x cube you must multiply x square with x right so when you multiply x with x squared minus 2, you could always write this, x into x squared would give x cubed minus 2x, clear? So, x squared into x would give you x cubed, no, minus 2 into x would give you minus 2x, so put, uh, find out where minus, where uh, you get an x, okay? The variable only x alone, so this becomes minus, this is plus, but this becomes minus, this becomes plus, so this becomes 0, so now bring this down, nothing happens to the sign, this will remain 3 minus 3x three squared, now the sign, since this is minus, it actually changes to plus. So 5x plus 2x becomes plus 7x. Again, you bring down 3. Nothing will happen to this as well. Okay? All right. Now, what should you multiply x squared with to get minus 3x squared? Remember, it's minus 3x squared. Okay? So you should multiply x squared with minus 3, right? So when you multiply minus 3 with x squared minus 2, you multiply this. Minus 3 into x squared. And then minus 3 into minus 2 so what do you get minus 3 into x square minus 3x square minus into minus becomes plus 3 into 2 becomes 6 all right so you have to multiply this so x square minus 3x square gives you minus 3x square 
minus 2 into minus 3 gives you plus 6, right? So you bring 6 here, clear? So this signs will change and this will become minus. Bring this down. So you have 7x, nothing happens to the sign. Minus 3, plus 6 actually transformed to minus 6, okay? So minus 3 into minus 6 becomes minus 9. After this, we can no longer proceed, okay? Because you look at the remainder, what is the coefficient, the highest, what is the degree of this coefficient uh, of the variable? It's x only, right? It's only x alone, but our divisor is x square. So you cannot multiply x square and x, it cannot be, you cannot multiply this, okay? So you re you you can only multiply, you can further continue if there was an x square over here, okay? There's, this is only x, so you cannot uh, multiply further. Therefore, the quotient, okay, we're asked to find the quotient. The quotient of this polynomial is actually x minus 3, and the remainder is 7x minus 9, okay? All right, so we'll go to the next question, okay? This is the next question given to us. Again, it follows the same procedure. It's something you've already done, actually. So you're asked to find the same for the same reason. I'll do one thing. I'll rearrange this as x squared plus x, uh, sorry, x squared minus x plus 1, okay? Just to make it easier for us. To, all right? Let's try to write the variables from uh, descending order, from highest to lowest. In the case of this, highest uh, variable 4 to x, okay? From so, what is this? X, the quotient is given as, the divisor is given as this, and this is the dividend, 4x minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5. Okay, this is given to us. So now, let's divide, okay? What, you should, multi what should you multiply with x squared to get x squared? Do not focus on all of this, just focus on x squared alone, okay? The first term of the, divi uh, of the divisor, okay? So what should you multiply x squared with to get x to the power 4? You should multiply x squared with x to the power 4, right? x squared multiplying with x squared minus x plus 1. What would you get? x squared into x squared minus is here. So x squared into x plus is here. So x squared into 1. So x squared into x squared, x4. This becomes x cubed plus x squared. Okay? Just adding this step for students who might still be struggling with this, okay? So this becomes x to the power 4. When you multiply minus x with x squared, what are you getting? Minus x cubed. Write it somewhere here. Minus x cubed. And then finally, when you're multiplying 1 with x squared, you get this as plus x squared. All right. So this becomes, this is plus here. So it becomes minus. This is minus here. It becomes plus. This is plus here. It becomes minus. Now this becomes 0. Bring down x cubed because you cannot subtract anywhere, right? In the dividend, you do not find x cubed anywhere. So bring this down and it will become plus x cubed, okay, the sign changes. Now, this becomes minus x squared. So, minus 3x squared minus x squared becomes minus 4x squared. Now, bring down 4x. The sign will not change at all, okay? 4x plus 5. So, the next step is what should you multiply x squared with to get x cubed? Obviously, you have to multiply it with plus x, remember, okay? Even the sign matters here. It's plus x, so you must multiply it with plus x, clear? So, x square, now focus on x square into x. You can always write here, okay? You're multiplying this, then in order to avoid some mistakes, you can always write this. So, x cubed minus x square plus x. So, y when you multiply x square with x, you get this as x, x cubed, right? Then, when you multiply minus x with x, you get this as minus x square. And when you multiply x with 1, you're going to get it as plus x, okay? So, this is, there's a plus here. The sign will change. This becomes minus, so plus. This is minus. So, plus x cubed minus x cubed becomes 0, right? So minus 4x cubed plus x, x squared becomes minus 3x. It works th with as a, uh, the same principle as <coughs> mm, uh, division, uh, subtraction. Plus 4x minus 4x becomes, you look at this, 4x minus x becomes 3x, okay? Clear? You see always this, this is plus 4x, this is minus x, which is greater, 4 or 4x or minus x obviously 4 so plus okay plus 5 nothing will happen over here now what should you multiply x square which get minus 3x square focus on the sign as well it's minus 3x square so you must multiply x square with minus 3 right so in rough work if you're not still very familiar with division algorithm you can always do work this in a, in in the rough work okay so you must multiply minus 3 with x square minus this so you'll be getting this as minus 3x square minus minus becomes plus 3x then minus 3 so x square minus 3 becomes minus 3x square 
minus x into minus 3. Okay, remember, focus on the sign minus, minus becomes plus, so plus 3x. And finally, minus 3 into 1 becomes minus 3. So this is plus, it will become minus, so it will become plus. This is plus, this will become minus. This is minus, so it will become plus. So minus 3x squared plus 3x squared, 0. Plus 3x minus 3x, 0. Plus 5 plus 3 becomes 8. So finally, okay, um, I'll just write it here. We'll try to write it in one page itself. So, okay. So after this, the quotient is x square plus x minus 3 and the remainder is equal to 8. Okay, so this is the answer. So for the next question, we follow the same procedure which is given as this. In fact, I'll write this as x squared plus 2, okay? Because, like I said, we'll try to write the variables first and then the constant term. So this is given to us, okay? So this is minus x squared plus 2, x to the power 4 minus 5x plus 6. So what should you multiply minus x squared with to get plus x4? Okay, remember it's a plus sign, so you must get plus. So you must actually mul multiply it with x minus x squared, right? You, you write here in the rough work, minus x squared multiplying with minus x squared plus 2. Minus x squared into minus x squared plus into minus becomes minus, so x squared into 2. So what would you get? Minus minus plus, so x to the power 4 minus 2x squared, okay? So you're multiplying this, you get x4 and you cannot see plus 2 into minus, this becomes minus 2x squared. So this becomes, it's a plus here, <coughs> excuse me, so since there's no x square, a variable with the power 2, you should bring it down, okay? Now bring down minus 5x and 6, okay? So what should you multiply x square with to get 2x square? Remember again the positive sign, the sign, okay? This is plus 2x square. So you should multiply it with minus 2, right? When you multiply it with minus 2, only then you get plus 2x square. Right. So minus 2 into minus x square plus into minus is minus 2 into 2. So minus minus becomes plus. So 2x square minus 4. Okay, remember you must multiply it with uh, minus x square with minus 2 in order to get 2x square. So this becomes 2x square. So minus 2 into plus 2 becomes minus 4. So this is plus, so this will become minus. This is plus, okay? It's a plus here, so this will become minus, so cancel. This bring it down, so minus 5x, plus 6, plus 4, plus 10, okay? Therefore, the quotient is minus x squared minus 2, and the remainder is going to be equal to minus 5x plus 10, okay? So this is the answer. We shall end the video here.